Has anybody here seen a whale? I've come out to Gravesend hoping to catch a glimpse of an Arctic visitor. We brought the family, we've all come, and um, hopefully to see it again. Don't see it often, but the kids like to see it once in a lifetime. Very easy to see if you're in the right place at the right time. It was surfacing relatively frequently, and uh, we got great views. Well, I'm glad someone has, and some people have got closer to him than others. Very exciting. I wasn't doing particularly well in the race, and as I came up to one of the marks, um, I saw a whiteness in the water, this sort of rather smooth, luminescent, that just sunk gracefully back into the water was the whale. And there are plenty of fish in the water. The Thames most of the time is actually quite clear. While not everyone has seen Benny, it might be possible to hear him instead. Well, I've got homemade hydrophones that are dangled into the Thames, so I'm listening to the sounds that a human being could hear if they were down about three metres or so into the Thames. Are they the same sort of sounds that this beluga whale might be hearing, do you think? Well, undoubtedly, if it's in this vicinity, it's going to be picking up these particular frequencies that I can hear, but it'll hear many more sounds than I can hear because their range of hearing is right up to anything. Some of them can hear up to 150 kilohertz. Over the past couple of weeks, the whale has been spotted in this area here, and the British Divers Marine Life Rescue and Port of London Authority say that it's about three and a half metres long and appears to be a juvenile or sub-adult. They're still advising people to steer clear of this area, and they've been meeting with beluga experts to assess what, if anything, they need to do next. But the longer the beluga stays here, the more concerned onlookers have become. It's awful. I think that it's just the effects of climate change, isn't it? So I think we're going to see a lot more of it now over the next coming years. But then if they're following their food chain, then that's what they've got to do. Nevertheless, it's been a real boon for the local area. We've had people from um, Bristol, Peterborough, up north, all over the place really, yeah. It's been great. Benny the Beluga's visit might eventually overshadow that of Gravesend's other long-distance visitor. Anna O'Neill, BBC London News.